Hey guys, and welcome back to Haunting Grounds. Haunting Ground, I will get that right one day, I swears. Anyway, uh, when we last left off, we managed to defeat our friend, should we say? That's putting it nicely. Uh, in the chapel, and we got ourselves a key to go through a door, which is very exciting. Now, off camera, I did spend all of our medallions, which again took a decent chunk of time, but we managed to get the Inquisitor earrings, which pure silver earrings designed after Ouroboros slightly increases the speed at which you calm down when in a panic, which actually is kind of interesting. However, I don't think I showed of the diamond choker which we got last time. Um, a choker decorated with numerous fine cut diamonds greatly reduces the speed at which stamina is lost and doubles stamina recovery speed. Players impervious to all power attacks. Yeah, that's kind of OP. Uh, well, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm not 100% sure what exactly a power attack is. But it does appear that we cannot actually um, run out of stamina with this one, which is cool. Now, we were wearing this when we fought Diabetes, and as you saw in that video, uh, we we definitely took some powerful attacks, so I, I'm not sure 100% what that does. Anyway, we also got this Recreato, um, whatever this is. And that will completely restore all of our stamina. So we got eight units of that, which I guess is cool. However, with our diamond choker, it's kind of pointless. It would have been nice to get something a little bit different than that. Um, we got two round. I think we got a round of two of that and then a round of six, something like that. Anyway, that we got eight units, but in, from two separate medals. Now, we also got these earrings made by processing an extremely rare substance known as the Philosopher's Stone. The speed at which you can calm from a state of panic increases, as does mental stability. Yeah, they sound good. <clears throat> We're going to... What does the alchemist earrings do? So, platinum earrings in the shape of an ank recover from a state of panic much faster than usual. Additionally... You panic to a lesser degree when hit. Hmm. I, again, it, it's not really clear which one of these is better, to be honest. The speed at which you calm from a state of panic increases, as does mental stability. Yeah, okay. And that says you recover from a state of panic much faster than usual. Additionally, you panic to a lesser degree when hit. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess we'll try the philosopher ones. I am i don't know which one's better. These descriptions are incredibly vague. And although I've printed out a guide... Well, I say a guide. It's just more like an item list, really. It, it doesn't really say what these items do. And that does appear to be a bit of a mystery. Um, but... Uh, I mean, I'm guessing... I think maybe the alchemy... Maybe the alchemist earrings are better? I don't know, because we panic less when we get hit? Ah... Uh, Whatever. Anyway, I suppose we'll just keep our those for now. Um, we also got the silver boots, which apparently if you use the um, Magist medallion, which we had one of, these are really easy to get. Um, considering these are actually apparently the best boots in the game. Silver plated boots embroidered with a beautiful design increases the kick attack power by five times. High percentage chance to hit an enemy with a power attack. Now, I don't know what a power attack is. I'm assuming that's a critical hit. Um, so, 
every time we kick an enemy now, we're essentially doing five times the damage. Now, if we accidentally kick Huey, I don't know if we do five times the damage to Huey. I don't know, man. I'm I'm not sure. Um, so, like I say, when it comes to the items in this game, I'm I have no idea. But I'm assuming items are good. Now, as I also said, items aren't difficult to get, which is also curious. Like that alchemy system. Although if I bungle it up loads of times, I do load my save. It's not too bad. It's really not. Once you get used to it anyway. But um, there are a couple of times where I've really balked up and I've come out with nothing. And I've used all my medallions. So I've reloaded it two or three times. Uh, and that... Uh, could you say... Why am I not using save states when I do that? Ah, oh, you idiot. I could speed that process up quite a bit. Not humongously, but quite a bit um, by using save states. God, I'm a dumbass. Anyway. Ah, Jesus, man. Maybe I need more coffee. I think that's what's going on here. Bloody hell. So, let's go through this door. But yeah, with a little bit of persistence, it really isn't too bad. Let's have a look with this key and see what happens. Factor. It's so My good. The creator said he made me the perfect woman. But I cannot taste or experience pleasure or feel pain. for the meal. Well, that was incredibly uncomfortable. She's definitely getting a bit screwy now, isn't she? Now, unfortunately, we've got a case of uh, <laughs> acid reflux from whatever the hell we were eating there. So we can't do anything here, apart from just kind of hobble around. Now, I know this game is emulated and we've got loads of um, visual enhancements on. But might I remind you... When you look at these character models, this is a PlayStation 2 game. And I mean the the scenery and whatnot, yeah, it's alright. It's about it's about on point for the, the time period. Um But the character models and the animations are out of this fucking world, man. I keep forgetting that this is actually a PlayStation 2 game. Jeez. Anyway. Let's go save it, because we haven't actually put down like an actual hard save. I don't know why my emulator's saying that now. It's like, there's no memory card in slot one. It's like, there damn well better be, mister. Anyway, after a bad case of uh, whatever the hell that food was, 
we better we better sit down have a little bit of a nap fresh sheets have been placed on the bed so what does she mean by she's not complete so she's obviously a creation um, she was made like the golems oh dear I'm thinking it's time we weren't here. Right, let's um, let's disappear. Now, I do like the detail on her as well. Like the fact that you can see uh, that the fact that her hands are all scuffed up and scarred up and they look dirty and bloody. That's a really interesting thing because as she's complaining about the fact that she cannot feel pain, pleasure, she can't taste, she's got basically no senses, I guess, apart from um, uh, the, the fact that she can see and hear, I guess, are the only two senses she actually has. So she's very jealous of Fiona for being an actual real human woman. Um, and she's obviously going a little bit screwy. But it's interesting, that little damage on her hands, I'm guessing, is because she doesn't have pain receptors. So her hands are getting, you know, burnt and messed up from all of the work she's doing. Interesting stuff. Um, now, we potentially could fight her here. Now, she's nowhere near as dangerous as Diabetes was. Like, nowhere near as dangerous, which is interesting. So, it's actually, like, really possible to take her out. And uh, with diabetes, it was really hard to actually get him um, in the right position for Huey to attack uh, her back. Or his back, I should say. Whereas with this woman, it's actually really easy. And each kick, we're doing five times the damage, which is also very nice. There we go. Now, what's great about this is every time we take her out, we can actually get a medallion, which is really bloody nice. Although we are kind of freaking out here, so 
It might. Yeah, see, these um, don't actually heal us, sadly. That should bring our mental faculties down to normal. Right, she's getting a little bit testy now. There we go. Let's put the boot in. As you can see, we should be hitting her, but we're not. I don't know why. It's... Yeah, actually, like, attacking. There we go. She's done. And every time we take her out, we can get a medallion. Yeah, very strange. Very strange. Now, she doesn't obviously stay dead. But, you know, we, we can deal with that. Um, as and when. Right. She will get back up in a few minutes, but we're not going to worry about that too much. So we got ourselves another medallion, and it only cost us um, one piece of lavender, which is not bad. You know, I like those uh, uh, those odds. So let's get out of here. I also like her music. It's this very strange, kind of like high energy glitch sort of uh, glitched out track which I suppose speaks volumes about her the fact that she's um, I guess uh, I mean I don't really know what she is I suppose she's some sort of golem thing um, I don't think she's really human um, she was just created in the shape of a human but she's obviously very glitched damaged and broken now so I like the fact that her music actually plays into that which is really nice um, anyway Let's get out of here. Also, because we've uh, lit the fires, if you will, with those mirrors, everywhere is glowing in here, which is a really cool touch as well. Uh, also, I think I'm going in the wrong direction. I am going in the wrong direction. Fool of a truck. But as you can see as well, she is way easier than diabetes ever was. But I think that probably has... Uh, more to do with the fact that we have much better weaponry now in the form of our boots. Also, Huey is um, obeying us a lot more, which, you know, is nice, to say the least. Uh, no, I was going the right way. I'm being stupid. Let's go for Paul. Because he's a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good little killer, aren't you? Yes. Mummy loves her little killer. Come on, boy. Let's go. Now, let's go and actually use that key that we found in the last video, shall we? Seems like a reasonable thing to do. I suppose we can go through here. Yeah, interesting. You know, I because obviously we've traded, um, or we've traded, yeah, we have traded. We've traded one stalker for another. But I guess they're not all made equal. I'm also assuming that uh, diabetes is also like a failed experiment. I don't actually know. I haven't found any documentation yet that says he is. Uh, whereas... You know, Daniela actually like straight up tells you that she's a broken, failed experiment, which is cool. But as for um, as for diabetes, I don't know, but I'm guessing he is. Never mind. I guess we shall have to ponder that a little bit more. Anyway, let's go use our key after we've uh, you know had a nice meal to get our energy up. Oh dear. Guess who's back? Daniela! Hey! Now, thanks, uh, but I don't want any cups of tea or coffee. Well, actually, yeah, I don't know, actually. If you offer me a cup of coffee, I, I would probably uh, let you do bad things to me. Um, but we're good. I'm going to assume that we don't drink coffee. Now, I've tried fighting her here. Doesn't it appear that you actually can. You can beat the shit out of her. But she doesn't actually go down.
Yeah, um, well, we found that her Achilles heel appears to be mirrors. Yeah, we can distract her with those. She really doesn't like the look of her own image, which, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of us that can relate to that. Anyway, come with Huey. Well, well, well. Looks like we're not going to be able to go back, unfortunately. So, that's... is what it is. Anyway, if we go here, we do have a little closet thing that we can hide in. I, I don't know how good that's going to be. Uh, I mean, I guess, considering it's like an actual hiding space, I assume it's going to be fine, but I mean, I I wouldn't trust it. So we've got some chamomile. Very nice. It's full of insects. Well, that's not exactly great, is it? What's behind door number one? We have a woolly mammoth room. And this is really weird, because if you look at what the hell's going on here, it looks like, at one point, that woolly mammoth was potentially alive, because it smashed this, um, this walkway here. And when I saw that, I was like, ah, okay, okay, and potentially some bigger creatures and things that we're going to be fighting around here which is fun. Now, we got a little balcony out here, but there's nothing we can do here just yet. But we can have a little run, you know, get a heart beating and air in our lungs, all that good stuff. Uh, but unfortunately, I believe this door's locked. Yes. Yes, this door's locked, which is fine, so that's okay. Come on, Huey. Come on, my friend. Let's get out of here. Um... Yeah, which is interesting. I, I like the imagery in this game. Really do. I like the uh, art style. I like the decor of this place. Uh, we've got a little hole we can go in there. Um, but to my knowledge, there isn't actually anything in here. And this is just a little balcony, I think. Yeah, just a little balcony overlooking. Well, that would be telling. Um, so, what's in here? We have some lavender, which is very nice. Lavender is amazing, and I haven't yet managed to synthesize it. Or, uh, I haven't actually managed to synthesize anything like lavender. Which is unfortunate, because that really is the best thing. Now, if we try and go through here, I think we can. No. So this door literally opens into a brick wall. Not really sure whose idea that was. Seems like a very uh, Wesker's mansion type of deal. But, or should we say Spencer mansion type of deal. But anyway, I digress. Let's keep looking. Ooh. Now if we ever come up against one of these, this is a mirror. We should always uh, expose it because that will distract our friendly maid. Now, let's keep going. And look at this. Isn't this pretty? It's something a little bit different. But, in its beauty lies a uh, interesting bit of danger. Uh, that is also a dead end, which we don't want to fuck with. Oh, hello, miss. <gasps> oh, nope. Not quite so friendly. This isn't a dolly, it's a mummy! Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so we got this little dude following us still. That's fine. Um. Well. We got hit, and we freaked right the fuck out. 
that was unlucky. That was incredibly unlucky. I think when those things hit you, they do a random amount of Freak-On damage. And we really had our Freak-On there. Because quite... Ah, yeah. Quite often, they don't do anything to you at all. <laughs> and then you get moments like that where they just completely screw you over. Blue Flame, Secret Ways. Strange title for a picture. Unless it could be some sort of hidden message. Maybe... Fiona. Maybe. A female is raising an oil lamp. Blue flame burns brightly from its tip. It's almost like she's guiding you deep into the painting. Well, let's go see what we can do about that. Ooh. Thanks, boy. Right. Well, let's start heading back. Blue flame. Where have we seen a lamp? And where have we seen a blue flame? Well, let's go back this way, shall we? Let's uh, take our blue friend with us. Come on, blue. Blue, there you go. Time's money, my friend. We've got places to be. Strange robot women to kick in the face. And a creepy-ass mansion to escape. Is that wonderful to say that? That we've got another creepy-ass mansion to escape? So, here we are. We have a... There is a statue clasping an oil lamp. And... We... Done balked it up. There is a statue clasping an oil lamp. The wick of the lamp is unlit. Yes, we need a blue flame, and you can obviously see where I was going with that. Let's go get another one, shall we? Uh, I think Daniela is going to leave us alone for a little bit. I think. I'm not sure how the whole stalker thing works. I don't know whether it's set um, triggers. I think there is a bit of set triggering going on, but I think if you wait around for too long as well. Um, they will come for you. Alright. Although, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I'm not sure. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? With about 80% less failure this time. Hey, there we go. And, dear viewer, what indeed... Well, well, well. We have a nice new passage to explore. But that's going to have to wait for the next video, guys. So thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to go see what this blue flame has uh, done for us. Nothing, uh, nothing good, I expect. But uh, all shall be revealed very soon. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.